Once you have truly received the pointing out instruction and recognized mind essence, becoming enlightened through training is not out of reach. It is in your own hands. You can remind yourself to recognize your mind essence as often as possible. If you train in this way, you can be liberated, even if you spend your entire day doing something as simple as grazing cattle. If not, if you know all the words of the Dharma, but don't really experience the essential meaning, The moment you depart from this life, you will just roam about in confusion. This is the essential point. How not to be distracted in this practice? When distracted, the best thing to do is to simply recognize your essence. In that moment, we don't see any concrete thing whatsoever. There is an immediate knowing that the essence is empty. There is something that cognizes that the mind is empty, and this cognizant quality is indivisible from the emptiness itself. At the moment this is an actuality. You don't need to do anything more. Simply let be in naturalness until at a certain point you forget and it slips away. That doesn't mean we have to keep pressing ourselves to continuously recognize mind essence. It's like switching on a light in a room. You press the switch once, and the light comes on to illuminate the room. In order for that brightness and light to stay, you don't have to do anything. If, on the other hand, you keep pressing the switch, something gets disturbed. If in order to see the mind essence, You keep saying, I want to see it, I want to see it, I want to see it. It becomes a deliberate conceptual act. Instead, just let be. Just like letting the light shine. At that point, there is no other technique you have to use. This is called naturalness without technique. We don't have to try to keep the mind essence. It is seen without fixating.
mind is empty. We don't have to make it empty. It's not that there is something remaining that is left out or is incomplete at this point. We usually understand empty as meaning there is no thing. If you come into an empty room, there is nothing in the room. The mind is like that empty room. In actuality, it is not some object of sight, sound, smell, taste or texture. In the moment of recognizing, we see that immediately. Seen in the moment of looking. Freed in the moment of seeing. Do not hold on to the notion that mind is empty. To hold an idea, now it is empty, is a conceptual construct that we keep in mind. That is not necessary. In the moment of recognizing, you see that mind is empty. At that point, allow it to be naturally as it is, without applying any technique whatsoever. That is naturalness without technique. That will last for a little while. Your attention will then stray. And you will notice at some point that your attention wandered off. Our mind is not completely beyond us. We know when we get distracted. Simply recognize what was distracted. Again, the moment you do so, you see that there is nothing to see. And the moment of seeing that there is no thing to see, it is free of thought.
and again. Leave it in uncontrived naturalness for a short while. The mind of all sentient beings is already empty. It is not something we have to create. When a thought moves, simply recognize the thinker. The thinking then dissolves. No matter what the thought is about, the thinking and the thinker are empty. A thought in itself is not made of any concrete substance. It is simply an empty thought movement. By recognizing the empty essence in a thought, it vanishes like a bubble in water. That is how to deal with any particular present thought at hand. Once you know how to let the present thought dissolve, any subsequent thought can be dealt with in exactly the same way as simply another present thought. But if we get involved in the thought, thinking of what is being thought of, and continue it, then there is no end. It is our thinking 
that propels us or forces us into further samsaric existence. As long as we get caught up in our own thinking, samsara doesn't stop. On the other hand, any thought is an empty thought in that it has no concrete substance to it whatsoever. It is very easy to notice this because the moment you recognize mind essence, the thought dissolves right there. The thought vanishes into your empty essence, into your basic nature, which is emptiness. There is no remnant whatsoever. That is the only way to solve the problem. When recognizing your essence, the thought is executed on the spot. It is totally obliterated. <laughs> 